cryptocurrency hedged ETF helps investors to mitigate the, the potential negative effects of a declining currency when you're investing in foreign equities or foreign fixed income, for example. So if you look back historically uh, over the last 18 months, uh, a British investor who would have invested in the European equity market uh, in the Eurozone would have seen a lot of upside in the equity values go up, but he would have had a lot of that uh, sort of negated by the decline in the Euro value against sterling through that period. The other benefits of currency hedge equity ETFs is, is, uh, is the fact that you can, you can also gain access to a rising currency against your existing, say, currency as a British investor. So even if you're not looking technically to, say, hedge out the currency risk, we've had British investors who've bought our European uh, Monetary Union equity ETF with a US dollar hedge embedded into it. So that way, they got the upside in the European equity market, but also got to ride the uh, upside in the US dollar uh, appreciating against sterling and of course the euro as well. Uh, whereas they may not have had the ability within their sort of uh, investment guidelines to say buy a, a currency explicitly. Uh, it, it really they just would need to have bought something that was embedded into a fund for, for example. The great thing about having uh, a product with currency hedging embedded into it is that you can sort of uh, decouple or separate the, the implicit currency bet that you have to make when you invest in foreign equities or foreign fixed income from the actual uh, equity bet or, or fixed income bet. So the, you know, again, there's many cases where you would have say, I'd like the equity story, say in Japan, but that the currency depreciation whilst you were invested in that uh, could have really come back to basically uh, negate or certainly diminish your returns quite dramatically. The key message about this is that currency hedging is not something you should be doing all the time by any means. Uh, it's simply another tool in the toolbox. There's periods where trying to have currency hedging embedded into the product is very much a bad idea. Uh, a British investor would have been very ill-advised to have bought a US, uh, a US equity market exposure with a, cur a GBP currency hedge embedded into it over the last 18 months because the US dollar has appreciated against sterling over that period. So you would have foregone the US dollar appreciation against sterling or the upside that you would have gotten from being exposed to that. So clearly it's a double-edged sword, but it's a great tool in the toolbox to pull out when you feel that that foreign, uh, uh, foreign currency might be declining whilst you're invested into it. It is slightly more expensive, but on average, for instance, uh, our range of ETFs with currency hedging embedded into it have just 10 basis points of additional costs. So just one tenth of a percent additional cost for the currency hedging as opposed to the plain vanilla version of that exposure. Uh, in fixed income, that additional cost is just 0.5%. Uh, so just one twentieth of a percent uh, to get that exposure. So relatively speaking, if you have a high conviction about uh, declining currency, I think it's a very small price to be paying in relation. You might have, say, core equities in the UK where you're stock picking or buying active funds in the UK market. But for instance, you might be buying Japan. Uh, you want to buy an ETF, but you're concerned about the currency risk of, uh, you don't know, there might be um, abonomics still coming through that they might do some quantitative easing, which could have a negative impact on the currency of the yen against sterling over that period. So that would be a prime example of where you'd make an active decision to buy a Japanese ETF with GBP currency uh, hedging embedded into it. Buying a currency hedged ETF is simply exactly the same as buying a regular ETF. Uh, they trade on exchange just like a single share such as HSBC or buying a Vodafone share. And the other additional benefit with an ETF, of course, is that you can see it moving throughout the day on exchange. And if you wanted to buy it at 10 in the morning and sell it at 3 p.m., you can do that just like you can with a single stock.